Hello and welcome everybody. In this quick guide I will show you how to become a deadly twin blade master at level 13 and an unstoppable grandmaster at around level 30 to 40 with the most simple setup ever that can delete anything either ranged or in melee without buffing or weapon switching at all. And as an extra bonus this is also super fun to play. Ok, why twin blade you ask? Simple, we want the two-handed moveset that is vastly different from the one-handed moveset. The rapid attacks interrupt enemies, hit multiple targets at once and set status effects super fast. In addition, this weapon class can slot the essential Ash of War that will let you execute any boss from mid-range if you need to catch your breath. Let's go, shall we? Starting class Prisoner, because you will need only 4 levels to wield your first twin blade. Samurai for better starting armor is also possible, but you have the intelligence starting advantage with the Prisoner. The things you should always do at first in a new playthrough. Get Torrent, speak with Vani and get your first Spirit Ash. Fight a handful of easy enemies to get your first Ash of War. Storm Stomp and the essential Wet Blade. Then head east from your first Overworld Side of Grace and collect the Twin Blade without any fight. You need 18 Dexterity to equip it, so invest your first levels here. After that, level Vigor. You can either use the Grey Roll method, described in my 3 Deadly Samurai Builds video, or just collect a few runes at grave sites and pick some easy fights. Travel time. Bypass Stormwell Castle and head northwest. No worries, you will not trigger or destroy any quest lines on the way. Unlock every side of grace, but don't pick any fights, just push through. Put your first Ash of War Storm Stomp on your starter weapon and kill the invisible bug here. Voila! Hoffrost Stomp gives your twin blade the cold affinity that will rapidly proc Frostbite with the two-handed moveset and you have already a decent mid-range Ash of War. Frostbite eats away 10% of your target's HP and increases damage taken by 20% for 30 seconds. Head back and progress until level 30 to 40 however you prefer. Recommended talisman is the Dragon Crest Shield Talisman you can pick up early. All links to the mentioned equipment and skills are in the video description. Around level 30 to 40 you can pick the fight with the Knight's Cavalry here. The earlier the more challenging it will be. Try to stay on his left aka your right side to avoid a lot of his swings. Your reward is Ice Spear. Put it on your twin. Do not forget to visit the Stillwater Cave, also manageable around level 30. Run straight to the boss for the Winged Sword Insignia as your second talisman. And that's really it. You have the game's strongest mid-range Ash of War with Ice Spear on your Twin Blade. This build is almost ridiculous strong at a very early level and stays so in NG Plus and beyond. You can upgrade your Twin Blade to the Twinned Night Sword or even better the Godskin Peeler when you reach the Altus Plateau. The latter has a unique running R2 that hits multiple times and is very fun to use. You can always switch back to Hoarfrost Stomp if you feel the game gets too easy with Ice Spear. You will never need to switch your weapon or fiddle with your spells for your ranged attack. You simply keep your Twin Blade two-handed all the time and you can do it all with this one setup. You will want to unlock the Magic Scorpion Charm, so be careful to follow that questline. Again, link in the video description. This one weapon only setup keeps your stats focused, no need to invest a lot in endurance. I show you a level 50, 100 and 150 example on the screen. Feel free to pause it. We focus on intelligence because Ice Spear and Hoarfrost Stomp scale only with weapon level and intelligence. A heavier armor with good resistances, as long as you keep medium rolling, should be your endgame goal. The combination of proccing Frostbite very fast, 20% increased damage through this debuff and the quick attack power build up with the Winged Sword Insignia and its late game variants let this build shine without any active buffs. There are a handful of bosses immune to Frostbite, but Ice Spear will still hit very hard and gives you always the option to fight face to face or from range without ever sorting through your weapons or spells. It was never so uncomplicated to beat the game while enjoying the rapid fire attacks 
and one of the most fun movesets in the game with your twin blade. And that's really it for this super condensed and quick to the point guide. Do you like this format or have any suggestions? Let me know in the comments. As usual, liking, subscribing and commenting would really help this channel to grow. That's all for now about Elden Ring. Take good care of yourself and enjoy your gaming sessions.